there Sagittarius, welcome back to Wild Lotus Tarot. This is going to be your weekly intuitive tarot reading for August 10th through to the 16th. Sagi, let's see what is literally on the cards for you. I'm going to begin with the Work Your Light Oracle here, one of my faves, to see what overarching themes or messages. It's that one there, guys. Protection, call your power back, cut the cords, soul retrieval. I mean, there could be, you know, somebody that you need to protect yourself from, Sagi, this week. It doesn't have to be a person. It can also be, you know, a thing or maybe a food or alcohol or something that's no longer good for you. But generally, this is a situation. So there could be, um, you know, somebody that might be not operating in your best interest. We'll see what other cards come out. So it's just bit to be mindful and to hold your boundaries as well. Not to say yes to things that you truly don't want to do. Honor your own no and honor what you truly do and don't want to do, Saji. Let's go to the Yogic Path deck. I've got one poking out. I'm going to take that one. We have Oljas. Okay, beautiful imagery in that card. It's really the new earth in that one, isn't it, guys? And this is one of the Ayurveda cards, guys, and it's the subtle essence of health and well being, peaceful and patient. Yeah, pretty much what I was feeling that new earth energy. So, you know, it's really about saying to you, you know, maybe you are going to take a step forward in your health and well-being this week and make sure that your dietary and lifestyle choices are showing up and, you know, that you're doing the right thing there and maybe not indulging in, in the things that, you know, aren't good for you. As I just mentioned before, the protection card, that was something that came up about, you know, alcohol and, and foods and things like that. So it's saying here that if you do eat in alignment with your body and exercise and that kind of thing, maybe you're going to start reaping the rewards. So it's quite a nice little reminder there, Sagi. Let's go to the tarot and see what the story is for you this week. Beginning with an energy for your recent past. What is leaving, completing and transitioning in your life? What you may be journeying Many. What's that, G? There it goes. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, I mean, maybe it's time to let go of something that is not serving you. And that can come in so many forms, obviously. Maybe loosen the grip. Time to rise up. Let's go for the current of focus energy strategy. There it goes. Yeah, ten of wands. Maybe releasing a load or burden. This week, I mean, it's number 10. Tens are completions in the tarot. I have had people say to stop mentioning completions, but, you know, the tens, that's what they are, guys. And what better to follow on a completion than a new beginning, an ace, a breakthrough. Yeah, that's great, guys. Oh, ha, ha, ha. you know what? I was going to say it when the protection card came out. I thought, no, 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 don't do it. See what comes up. And here we go. The devil. Yeah, I mean, you might be dealing with a manipulative energy. That's why we've got the protection oracle card, guys. It's really time to release yourself from something that's holding you back, keeping you small. It's time to focus on yourself and your health and well-being now. There's a potential that the situation could have had an impact on that for you. And the cards are saying it's time for you to do you now. Seven of pentacles, yeah. It's because you have not been getting back, Saji. The return on investment for the time, effort and energy that you've been putting into whatever the situation is. It's a general reading, guys, so uh, I don't go too detailed. You can apply it to your situation. Let's clarify it. The Ten of Wands. Too many. Clarify the Ten of Wands, please, for searching. There it goes. Serenity, yeah, that's actually the Hermit energy, guys. So it's really going to be time for you to, to take some healing time and retreat within. 
We've got the Knight of Cups here though uh, at, at the end and we've got the Magician. We've got the Magician on one side and the Devil on the other so it's going to be up to you to, you know, to really create uh, what you want to out of the situation and to take the action that's required to move things into a better place. Okay, so G, I'm going to start here with the Pentacles energy. I've got the Four of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. They're called crystals in this deck, but they are Pentacles. So what I'm seeing here with the Devil in this energy, we've got the Devil on one side, the Magician on the other. Two cards of Pentacles. Now, this could be a financial situation, right? I mean, you could have been dealing with somebody for an investment, somebody that you trusted uh, you know, with a, a loan or to, to pay you back or something like that. And maybe they they haven't or maybe there's something kind of um, going on behind the scenes that's not completely honest. You know, when we see the magician and the devil in a reading, there can be that trickster energy, not for everyone, but some of you. If it's not a financial situation or a debt situation, guys, the, I mean, the pentacles are energy, right? And the seven of pentacles is the energy of you've put a lot of energy and, and effort into something. You've really invested You've really worked hard at something, but there's a sense that you're not getting back. There's not an even kind of give and take here. So you might have been dealing with somebody who was a bit of a, you know, let's, let's bring them in. A bit of a bloodsucker, a bit of an energy vampire. Somebody who has been draining you. That's why the devil has the bat wings here. So that is definitely possible as well. There could have been a draw on your energy or a codependency. You could have been in a relationship with somebody where you've had to, you know, carry a lot more of the responsibility. Ten of Wands, a lot more of the load. Going off to work, coming home, cooking meals, looking after the children, you know, organizing everything until you just, you know, you get burnt out. Some of you could have been in the workplace with a boss or mentor or team leader who gives you all the extra tasks and you're good at it and you can handle it, but it's not sustainable for you. So it's all those kinds of energies, guys, you know, and there's a sense here that maybe you're a bit chained to this situation and it could be because, hey, we're in unsteady times. Maybe you can't just up and leave a job or up and leave a partner or whatever this is for you. There's a sense of needing to hold on to your financial resources or hold on to the situation for now. However, I do see that... Um, it is time for you to release it with that Ten of Wands, Ace of Swords combo. So potentially it's time to, to loosen the grip on this at the moment, uh, you know, Saggy. And yeah, I mean, because the, the thing that's coming through here is that there is a need to protect yourself from the situation and you want to release this before it does get into the territories of burnout or, you know, really holding you back or keeping you small or affecting your sense of quality and self-esteem, which the, the Four of Pentacles can talk about. It's really time for you to, to rise above and it's important to stay grounded in the process, protect yourself as well, not engage with the games if there's been any game playing with this person. I mean, the devil can be a shifty energy, really can be somebody who you know is operating from manipulation or narcissism. But there's a sense of illusion about this. So maybe they are trying to you know create a certain picture or reality and, and have you playing into that as well so it's just to be really mindful of that because then with the magician energy together with the devil it means somebody could be playing games with you playing games with you manipulating you to get you to carry the load to do the work to make them look good so they can sit back and rest on their laurels it's that kind of energy now the ten of wands says that that can burn you out over time. You know, you're carrying the load, you're carrying the weight on your shoulders. And the Ojas Oracle card here is saying, hey, it's time to be mindful of your health and well-being this week. So it's time to let go. So the Ten of Wands is a completion, completing something that has been, you know, blocking your vision, which is interesting because the devil energy can be the energy of illusion. So by releasing this, you're going to be opening your eyes and you're going to be able to see so many other opportunities that are available to you that you haven't been able to see while you just got your head down and you're, and you're doing all the work and you're on autopilot. So the Hermit energy here, which is called Serenity in this particular deck, you know, it says, hey, it's time to go your own way from the situation and you might be flying solo for a little while. You know, the, the Hermit can be that energy of independence and being on your own without necessarily being lonely but it's a time to seek answers from within and go within to self-reflect and maybe do some healing as well um, after the situation and taking that rest that you need. 
and it's number nine. It might be nine days, nine weeks, nine months that you need to take out. Not completely out, but in, you know, before you sort of really start to think about going into maybe another relationship if this is a relationship. Say there's going to be a little bit of an in-between time. Now, the interesting thing is that the, the Hermit card links to the star energy as well. In the Rider version of this card, the Hermit has a little star burning in his lantern. So it says that the more that you seek and the more that you heal and reflect, that star energy starts burning brighter and the path forward will be illuminated, the new path. Because sometimes when we go through a completion, we can't really see immediately the path that we're supposed to be stepping onto and it can be a bit... Um, it can be a bit scary, it can make you feel like you're in the darkness, like the hermit does feel. But there's a sense that, you know, it's only a matter of time before that reveals itself to you. And the thing about the link to the star energy is that's the card of divine wish fulfillment. So it says that by going through this completion, you are stepping closer to your divine wish fulfillment. And sometimes to get there, you know, we've got to let go of, of, of things that are not working for us, even if we love them. Now, in the near future outcome, we've got the Ace of Swords and the Knight of Cups. So, here's the breakthrough. Here, this could be you seeing the truth. You know, if the devil was illusion and things kind of happening in the undercurrents, the Ace of Swords is clarity, it's vision, it's um, truth, it's, you know, truthful communication. There could be a truth revealed about this person. There could be an honest communication that takes place that puts you in a place of victory over the situation. can be a breakthrough. Hey, you know, I've done the right thing where I know I need to get away and, and then I'm just going to get on and take the action and do it. And it's, an, it's a card of new beginning. It's an ace. The thing about aces, guys, is they're not guaranteed. They are, they are the, the pure potential. So we still need to take the inspired action, the follow-through you know, to actually activate the aces, because if we don't do it, then we just, you know, if we do what we always did, we get what we always got. So there's a sense of needing to take action. Now, the Knight of Cups here can be an emotional messenger. It could be an apology from that person. So that could be something to watch out for. Just make sure that it seems to be honest and coming from the right place if they do, right? That's just a little side note there. Um, the Knight of Cups could also be, hey, for some of you, a new knight in shining armor who's completely opposite to that devil coming in. Uh, it could be somebody with someone with an offer of something fulfilling for you. And it could come as a result of releasing the situation. Hey, maybe that's divine, that divine wish fulfillment that you have been seeking. Let's not forget the, you know, the magician over to the side here. Now, the magician says that, you know, you have all the tools and resources within you to release yourself from the situation and, and seize this new sword of victory, a new beginning to recrown yourself and your power. But the magician, you know, takes the action, takes the action to make it happen, right? So that's the key here. And the magician is a lot about, you know, working on your internal game, getting yourself internally in a good place emotionally, because there's the as above, so below with the magician saying that you will experience externally and magnetize towards you you know how you are internally and vice versa so it's a card of making it happen and you know starting to to play in your own magic to create the life that you truly desire and it could just be on the other side of this kind of situation that we see completing with this devil energy here guys so Sergi, don't forget to protect yourself this this week to stay grounded to take those steps towards releasing what is no longer serving you, healing, reflecting inwards, seeking the wisdom within yourself and not externally, holding, you know, holding your truth, holding your, your boundaries and your barriers from this person and uh, claiming your victory. Okay, Sergi, I'm going to leave it there and I do hope you enjoyed the reading. Keep in mind it's a general reading for the collective so it won't be everyone's message this week. Feel free to leave me a comment if you're called to share. I read each and every one and try and respond to as many as I can. It helps me get to know you guys and connect the energies. And let's meet back here next week, same time, same place, for another message. Bye.